the new news, she's slaying the city. No makeup, just wake up and still giving the free. Get the lights, camera, action, cause it's big as a movie. And grab a seat and now tune with disastrous beauty. Don't you get it by thousand? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you wanted. Did you forget that code? Why is our love it one sided? It should really be give and take. Fill you up and leave me empty. Baby, was that my mistake? Covering these feelings. Going through changes. I'm just so mad right now. Tweet it and delete it Knowing you won't read it Before we get too far away I need to clear my mind I'd rather just tweet it and delete it Before we cross the line And we reach a point we can't be Okay, so 
let's just get into it. So this unit is by Julia uh, Hair. It is in the name Julia Highlight Human Hair Wig for Women. Colored Honey Blonde Straight Hair Wig Pre-Plucked. Um, I'm trying to find the description. So what they have on here for the description, it says tight Brazilian hair wig. Wig type lace part, texture straight. Uh, the lengths that are available is 12 to 24 inches. Uh, it says machine made and hand tied. Uh, and it's 100% human hair, average size, and it says it's uh, Swiss lace in medium brown color. The density is 150, and yeah, that is basically it as far as the details and specs go. So, mind you, this wig is a T-part wig, so underneath it kind of has like the little closure looking thing, but you cannot part this wig anywhere else. Like you can only, you can shift her to the side if you want to, but you gotta. You gotta wear it like it is this, okay? So you can't, but you can shift it if you want to. It just, it may not fit comfortably where your ears are. And that's always the case for me because I do have larger ears. But if your ears aren't large, then it shouldn't be an issue for you. Um, with this particular wig, it, it does come with baby hairs. And honestly, uh, this wig, as far as T-part wigs go, most of the T-part wigs I've had, you know, they didn't, they didn't look like this. Okay, I love a good T-part wig, but a lot of the older T-part wigs that I've had, you couldn't, I couldn't do this sort of look. So this unit did come with baby hairs and it was pre-tweezed some. I did not tweeze this unit whatsoever. When it comes to T-part wigs and stuff like that, I'm a little, like, I don't want to tweeze. I do tend to over-tweeze and when you're dealing with T-parts and stuff like that, you don't have room for error because, honey, oh girl, the track is red here. So I didn't do anything to this wig. She woke up like this, other than, you know, me cutting my baby hairs, but it, she woke up like this. So shout out to them for that because as far as T-part wigs go, like I think, you know, you could at the very least think that this wig is a closure. Um, child, I might, would I, would I go as far as a frontal? You would definitely think it was a, a five by five closure wig, okay? Uh, what else? As far as it being big head friendly, to me this wig is uh, pretty big head friendly. I did have to adjust the straps. Now I am an average cap size, so if I have to adjust the straps, then I deem a wig to be big head friendly. If I don't have to adjust the straps and it's fitting snugly, I deem it a small to medium head friendly. So do with that what you want, girl, okay? Just do, do with that what you want. Now I don't know the length of this wig. I'm gonna say that it may be 24 inches. This wig does come as a straight texture wig. And with all of the straight texture wigs I've ever gotten, they're never tangly and they don't shed. And this one was no different despite uh, the blonde streak. It did not shed so far. Not to say at some point, oh girl won't do none of the things, but straight out of the packaging, she didn't do any other thing. So shout out to them for that. And yeah, that is basically it as far as the details and specs go. Now, if you're interested in a lint check of full 360, as well as how I feel about this wig, then girl, keep on watching. Okay, so let's talk about why I did not want this wig in a T-part wig, child. There's a reason. I like T-part wigs because I find them convenient and they're easy to kind of just throw on and go, girl, okay? And I am just a convenient sort of chick. That's just who I am. That's what she is about. But... I did not want this particular wig to uh, in a tea part because I've had it in a tea part before and in a straight. So I was like, it's just one of those wigs that kind of stands out and I didn't want to get it in the same style because it stands out. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Like it's going to be something that you're going to remember like, girl, you already did it. So because they still sent me a tea part instead of a frontal, I was like, I'll add curls to it. This wig does come as a straight texture, uh, a straight wig. Um, you guys know, for the most part, straight wigs are not my favorite. I do recommend everybody have at least a one good straight, you know, wig in they in they wig stash, honey. But it's not something that I gravitate towards because I do have a very, very sort of blowfish sort of face. <laughs> okay, and I feel like straight wigs just look better on people with uh, a different sort of face. My face is very, very round, in my opinion. So I, I try to I try to stay away away from the straight hair, okay? Unless it's a bob, girl. But um, I did curl this wig, and honestly, I ain't mad at her at all. I really like the wig. I keep looking at myself. I done already been out and about in these streets, honey. I done already got compliments, honey. So she's a look, okay? I ain't mad at her at all, which is why I did decide to go ahead and do this video. Because at first I was like, hold on, honey. I told them frontal. I told 
called them from her and that is not what she is. And I fought it in my bag. But then I was like, you know what? I love a good tea party. Let's, let's do this. And I think I sold the other one. So, okay, cool. So, <laughs> that's why I decided to keep it. Because honestly, I really like the wig. I think it is really, really cute. And it's very, very, very convenient. And the lace is just melted, honey. Okay? I don't know how she looked like in, in regular lighting. Oh, I see it. I see it. But shoot, she still look good. She still look good. So yeah, I wasn't. I'm not mad with this wig at all. I feel like Julia Hair did a great job with this wig, especially for it to be a tea part wig. And I was looking on the site and I saw some of the review pictures. And honey, they them girls are slaying, honey. Okay, so yeah, they definitely came through as far as this wig go. I love this unit. It is gorgeous. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a full 360 as well as a lint check, and then we can wrap this thing off. Right so this is obviously the unit in the front this is it on the left side this is it in the back and this is it on the right side so yeah, keep in mind, I'm 5'4". Now y'all, this outfit that I have on the see-through, so I may have to kind of bleep out a little portion of it, but it comes right above my butt, okay? I don't want y'all seeing my pants on YouTube, check. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, let me know down below what you guys think about this unit, if you're feeling it. Now, I do want to say this unit is very lightweight, which I do tend to like uh, in straight texture wigs. Like, I don't mind that. Uh, even with me curling it, it is lightweight, but I don't feel like it looks scarce. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't look scarce. It, it looks like enough hair, in my opinion. So, yeah, just let me know down below what you guys think about it, if you're feeling it. Uh, I also don't normally like 1B and color. and But with this, I don't know. It's just something about this sort of style that I, I don't mind it. I, I like it. Let me know down below what you guys think. Let me know if you're feeling it. Once again, shout out to you, Julia Hair, for sponsoring this video. I truly do appreciate it. And yeah, honey, that's all. That's all. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Tell me the questions on you feel like I may have left out. Feel free to comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. So it's not going to cost you not one red cent. And if you're not ready to follow me on all my social media platforms, I am Disastrous Beauty on both IG and TikTok. I'm Hilton Missy on Snapchat. And I'm Disastrous B on Twitter. And I will see you, love bugs, next time. Bye. Why don't you get it by now? Tell me what you learned in grade school. Give it to me like you want it. Did you forget that golden rule?